I've got this little 34 inch cat carbon fiber that I put together a couple of years ago used it a couple of times and then uh, it's been gathering dust as you can see ever since it's got the EDF on there I just put on there just for an experiment um, with a, they, this has a 58 millimeter motor so it's fairly serious I can power and I wanted to leave the back open so I could put the batteries in here get to the servo if I ever needed to I had a 300 amp speed controller here and yeah it went alright but it was a little bit front heavy so the motor really needs to be put back here it would look better too and it would go better so I might uh, I might resurrect it I might sacrifice the lid I think that's going to be probably the easiest way to do it just just mount all this back onto here it just means if I ever want to convert it to a propeller boat I'll have to you know buy another lid which I was trying to avoid by doing it this way but what the hell I can't actually remember how I um, held this down I've made this plate up here I know I didn't want to make it too permanent I wanted to be able to undo it um, if I wanted to for when I actually want to use the boat for a proper reason not just for a stuff around like this no, just keep keep having to go and pull it apart and I'll find out how I held it on I guess what we got here here we go so I'll put a plate under there Okay, I've just figured out what I did all those years ago. What it was is I put a plate under here that went right up to here, all the way along here, and I've bolted the top to the bottom and I've sandwiched it down, which was a pretty good idea actually. <laughs> she was never gonna come off. So uh, yeah, gotta get, to, gotta get under there, underneath there and hold the nuts and get these bolts off. Okay, that was some job to get those two bolts out. I had to turn the camera off in case any naughty words got through. Still can't get it off. Okay. So when you hold it in my hand, you can see how big the thing actually is. So, a bit of overkill there. Alright, so that was bolted to there. Oh no. Ah, there's more bolting right in even further so i've got nuts under here and under here okay i actually don't know how i got those nuts on because it's so low in here all i can do is reach this in here like that to contact the nut so not too hard to get it off really in the end you kind of got to guess where the nut is but i don't know how i got them on All right, so that's that. This is just going to be a bit, of, a bit of hot melt gun glued on there, I guess, just to hold it. All right, so now I'm back to a normal boat again. Options are everywhere. Could put a single motor here if I wanted to. Put dual motors here where my batteries were and use the batteries up here but I'm gonna do it the hard way probably waste heaps of time for not much result and have that mounted there uh, probably have to put the batteries up a little bit yeah it'll look cooler anyway if nothing else even if it doesn't work I'm gonna go back to doing a similar thing I did to mount the mount the, the motor here um, just going to use this perspex that I'd already cut and bent to the right shape for here mount him on there and then make something else for the front here because you're a bit of a pain because they slope down like that so it's uh, a little bit of work to make a cover for it so that one will have to be able to come off and this one won't um, balance wise she's much better so with the batteries in it's a little bit front heavy there now so I'll be, just be able to slide them back to wherever I need them and that's going to be good have my speed controller here 
Okay, so that's where I'm at right now, after probably an hour of <clears throat> mucking around. Um, I did I did put some uh, wedges in there before when I had it up here to, to uh, lift it up on an angle. I'm going to take them out <coughs> and just have it and have it level or fairly level. So this is the part that'll be sandwiched in by. Uh, I just drilled a hole in there for some clearance for the for the servo. I don't think it was going to hit, but it was too close to um, to not do that because once it's on there, it's on there. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to try and figure out a way to bolt this together where I don't have to have nuts underneath here. Okay, so I've got this sorted out now. I use some nut certs, so you. Um, it actually puts a metal thread inside the uh, the piece here. I normally use them on cars, like in steel, like real cars. But I didn't know if it would work on this plastic sheet, and it actually did. It, it, they, they squashed in there really well. So I've just got those M5 bolts there with no nuts underneath. I can just unscrew it whenever I want, if I need to, get to the servo or whatever. I am going to take it back off now. Um, I want to sort out some kind of funnel um, not too much, just a, a little bit to give it a m bit more thrust. In my other videos of this, when I first set it up a couple of years ago, a few people commented that, you know, it would go better if I did that, and it totally makes sense. I don't know a lot about this plane type stuff, and I'm sure people can comment when they, can, when they see how it's done and what I've done wrong. To make the cone, I was thinking of, uh, well, I thought about doing it with a plastic you know, plastic bottle and cutting it down and, and doing that with a Coke bottle or something. And I thought I'd rather be working with steel. So I might just cut this up, this um, thinner, thinnest tin up and see what I can do. Then I can actually rivet it on rather than trying to glue the plastic thing on or whatever. So I'm gonna experiment with that. This is more than strong enough. If I can pick the boat up by that, we've got no problems there with it pushing the boat. What else am I going to do? I'm going to put, a, put an ESC in there. Um, unfortunately, the wires are going to be, you know, in the path of the uh, of the flow of the air, which doesn't help, I guess. But there's no, I mean, I've got to get the wires out somewhere, so it's just, it is what it is. So I cut the tin, I cut it in half. I should have just used the whole thing. Uh, my idea was just to kind of have it like this and kind of taper it down like that but I haven't got enough length so that didn't work at all but what I think I'll do is join it together and then I'll just cut slits in it I think pull it down probably put some good tape around the outside of it and taper it that way so plan A didn't work we're on plan B now hopefully I can sort this out before I get to plan Z Okay, so it's riveted on there now. So now we'll cut some slits and taper it down, I guess. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've cut some slits. Um, just played around with it on the angle grinder. Made them fairly wide. I'll just go over it like that, I reckon. Just tape it over. If any of you playing guys uh, care to mention anything in the comments about, you know, how I'm doing this the hardest possible way, there's probably a million different ways I could do it. Um, I'd rather work with metal rather than plastic or whatever, but um, yeah, don't be shy. I don't bite. Just, just tell me what I'm doing wrong. After I mucked around with tape, trying to you know squash this in like that, um, used a few different tapes. I uh, realised I'm working with tin, and why don't I just solder it? So I've just soldered up all those things. If I if I was going to if I knew I was going to leave it all exposed, I would have actually uh, spent a lot more time measuring out the cuts and made them all even. But you know, I don't even know if this, if this is going to work anyway. So probably use it once and then pull it all apart anyway. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the details. 
we've got this got this mounted on it's got my wires and the speed controller coming up here just put some silicon around there um, I'll probably run some silicon around here too just to keep the water out just got to make up a cover here um, run my run my lines <clears throat> battery battery mounts a few other little things I like to keep to myself um, in the final setup just uh, plug him in Rudder's going the right way. Holy shit. Wow, that is a lot of force. It didn't have that much force before. Not even anything like it, to be honest. That is crazy. All right. Um, cool. So I'm just going to make up my cover and... Uh, this will be the end for this video. Um, next video will be a uh, first test in the water. I'm not sure how long that'll be because I have to get a bit, go back to work in the next couple of days. We'll see how we go.